It's after election day, but the chance of support in what has been a tumultuous few days is only part of the reason dozens were outside the Mecklenburg County Board of Elections. They came at the invitation of the state GOP, and its chair says they want information now. What we don't know is why the Board of Elections is refusing to put out the numbers and show the transparency why they're playing hide the ball. The supporters here say they have doubts in the process nationally and they feel it could extend to North Carolina. I do have concerns about what I'm seeing in the election, um, in the national election in particular. I think it is beyond absurd that we're still counting votes in North Carolina. The pandemic led to a lot of absentee ballots, provisional ballots being issued for various reasons, and the tight races have the numbers hanging in the balance. And the way it usually works is that those results, information, and certifications, they can fluctuate for days after any election. Eric Heberlich is a political science professor at UNCC and says this, for lack of better words, is normal. We just don't normally see it. The only thing that's a miss really is the fact that our election infrastructure didn't match the way we voted this year. State GOP Chair Michael Watley was quick to point out that he's not thinking North Carolina has voter fraud. We know that a big chunk of those absentee ballot requests voted in person, so that number is actually a lot smaller. Despite the calls from the state GOP, the State Board of Elections was quick to push back. They told Fox 46, quote, there is no way to know until counties complete post-election processes which individuals voted on election day. Absentee and provisional meetings are set to take place over the next week in each county. They will be open to the public and the results will not be certified until the 24th. In Charlotte, Derek Dellinger, Fox 46.